A compound inequality contains one of the words and, or, are. If it's an and inequality, you might see it written this way. Negative 2 is less than x, and x is less than or equal to 5. The solutions to this inequality must satisfy both parts of the graph. How are you going to graph that? Well, you're going to split that into two inequalities. You're going to have negative 2 is less than x. Now, this is what I covered up. I covered up the second symbol and the last number. And I just made this look normal. Okay? Then I'm going to move over here and I'm going to cover up the same pieces on this side. And you're going to graph x is less than or equal to 5. You're going to do those on the same number line, but we're going to use different colors. So here we go. We're going to focus on this one. So at negative 2, what kind of circle do I need? I need an open circle. And which numbers make this inequality true? Is negative 2 less than negative 3? Or is negative 2 less than negative 1? This is the one that makes it true. So we will show this direction. Now I'm going to graph the solution to x is less than or equal to 5. I'm going to change colors. That, that would be I'm going to use a green one for this. Okay, I'm going to use green. I don't even know if you can tell the difference in green. Let me switch to red. Okay, so what kind of circle do I need at 5? This should be full. Four less than five? Yes. Is six less than five? No. I'm going to slide this left all the way to the end. Now the solution to the whole problem of the solution to this is the part of the graph that is covered by both red and black shading. It goes from 5 all the way down to almost negative 2. Now, see, that, that circle is open, so it doesn't include negative 2. It does, however, include the 5. So, if you are a number in this region, you satisfy these guidelines. Now, where would you use that in the real world? What if I said, we're going to let children under the age of 5 get in for free? And we're going to let people over the age of 65 get in for free. So you have to pay to get in the fair if you are, if your age is greater than or equal to 5, or if you are less than 65. So if you're 65, you get in for free. But if you're 64 in 360-something days, then you don't. If you're five years old, you have to pay. But if your birthday is tomorrow and you're still four, you get in for free. So this is an example of where we would use a situation like this. We also have graphs for the or problem. So this is or between them. And they will have two inequalities already split with the word or between it. You won't have to split it like we did that one. The solution to this problem must satisfy one or the other. So we're going to graph it three first. And we want a closed circle. And we're testing. This is our inequality. So it's just asking is two less than three or is four less than three. And this is the one that's true. I'm going to show this direction. And then I move over and I'm shading around the 8.
you are a number in this part of the number line or this part of the number line, then you satisfy that particular inequality. So if it's an and problem, the shading is going to cover, it's going to double up, and you're looking for the part that's double shaded. If it's an or, it's going to be one or the other. I'm going to do a couple of problems from your assignment. All you're asked to do today is to graph these inequalities. We're just getting used to graphing two things on the number line. So the first one is an or problem. And here's zero, one, two, three, four, and this one will be negative one. And we're going to put a solid circle on zero. And we're going to test is negative one less than zero, or is one less than True. Then we're going to graph x is greater than 2 with an open circle on 2. We're going to test is 1 greater than 2 or is 3 greater than 2. One is two. We're going to show this direction. So this is your answer. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going to jump down and do number 3. Number 3 has to be split into two parts. Come in there. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. So we'll put this. So we'll put negative five, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. And a negative four, we want an open circle. And we want to test it. Negative five. What is negative 3? We're looking for the one that's greater than negative 4. And which one's greater? Negative 3 is greater. So we're going to show this one. We're going to focus on this one. So it's a solid dot. We're going to test 3. And 5. Which one's 3? This one. I'm going to show this one. So the solution to this one is the part between the two dots. This dot, the part between, all the way up to that dot. I know there's a little bit shaded here, but it's only shaded black. And there's a little bit shaded here, but it's only shaded red. Okay, so you need to do those problems on the attached to the assignment.